Time to cut the cookies. All right, gang. So I just did the test between the steel RS325 uh, chain and the new Husqvarna C33, which is a full chisel, full comp, non-safety raker, 325 chain from Husqvarna. This is the first time that they have made such a chain. So now for race purposes, right? I'm wanting to find out if I should run a seven pin or an eight pin sprocket on this 550. I know that the, the guy who usually runs and, and wins the 50cc class, he runs a, uh, a 550 XP Mark II and an eight pin sprocket. So we're gonna see if mine is faster with that setup in this small wood. Heck, we'll test it in the big wood too, cause why not? Here we go. We've got our three, two, five, eight pin right here. I say it's gonna get pulled down quite a bit in the big wood. Doesn't quite have the grunt that it's gonna to need to get through the big wood with this eight pin, I think. All right, so yeah, might as well try the big wood first. See if we can get this little saw to muscle through it with an eight pin sprocket. Again, I don't know which was faster. <laughs> I do not know. Um, one thing I can tell you is it is a hungry, hungry chain. So, if it is faster, then I'll have to be certain to just let the saw eat. Very little pressure whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, yeah, let's go to the video, see what the video says.
so that was with the C80, uh, the C33, the new Husqvarna um, uh, 325 chain. And I, I mean, I, I did these videos back to back and everything. And if I had known in advance, then I would have done this test with the steel RS. Um, but as it is in the bigger wood, the seven pin was clearly faster. In the smaller wood, it was kind of back and forth, but I had already learned whenever I put the eight pin on, I had already learned not to push like at all. Uh, just, just the slightest pressure to keep it going forward um, with that C33 chain. Um, Cause it's just too hungry. It's just way too hungry. Now, can I get away with an eight pin for the steel RS? I think definitely I can because I never had any issue with pushing too hard on it. It kept cutting no matter what. And uh, so maybe I'll do another test. Maybe I'll just simply run it with an eight pin instead of the seven pin sprocket. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, there's a test. And yeah, that, that C33, uh, I mean, it's just really hungry. It's taking a big bite. And uh, so like I can see like that chain being great on a 60cc saw and, and you wanted to run uh, the 325 chain because it has more torque, right? Regardless of whether or not the, the 550 XP here darkness is faster than my 562 XP, that's a matter of RPM. Um, it definitely doesn't have as much torque. And so I think that this chain on the 562 XP is where the money's at. That's that, that, and that's probably why they did it. Now that I think about it, they did it for the European market probably um, uh, with making that chain so hungry because on a 562, I bet you it'll just murder. <laughs> All right, anyways, later.